Disney Princess, Jasmine's Royal Wedding. Aladdin wiped away a tear as she flipped through her mother's wedding journal. She was overjoyed to be marrying Aladdin at last, but she wished with all her heart that her mother was still alive to share in the moment. Jasmine studied every detail of her mother's dress, flowers, and decorations. Everything was so beautiful. Suddenly, Jasmine came to a decision. I want my wedding to be exactly like my mother's, she said to Raja. Then she will be part of my wedding after all. So, with her mother's journal in hand, Jasmine set about planning her wedding. First, she selected the very same exotic flowers her mother had chosen many years ago, before. Next, she showed the menu from her parents' wedding to the palace chef so he could prepare the same exact meal. Then she asked the sultan's personal pastry chef to bake the same towering wedding cake that her parents had enjoyed. Finally, she showed a sketch of her mother's wedding dress to the royal seamstress. I like my dress to look exactly like this, Jasmine told her. Jasmine's father, the sultan, saw how much work his daughter was putting into the wedding preparations. Your mother would be so touched that you are honoring her in this way, he told Jasmine. I know you wish she could be here, but in a way, she is. The Sultan put an envelope out of his robe and handed it to Jasmine. This is a letter you, your mother wrote to you many years ago. Jasmine gasped. A letter from her mother? She took the envelope and tore it open, while the Sultan left her to read it in private. My dear Jasmine, I am writing this letter to give to you when you are to be married. I do not want to forget to tell you something very important. As you read this, I am sure that you are very busy with all kinds of preparations, but the most wonderful part of my own wedding was my treasures of all treasures. I am so happy that you have found your own treasure at last. With all my love, Mother. Jasmine imagined her mother dressed up on her wedding day with her treasures of all treasures. It must have been a truly breathtaking sparkling jewel, Jasmine decided. She felt a knot tighten in her stomach. She didn't have a treasure of all treasures. She had to find one before her wedding. Then my wedding will be exactly like my mother's, Jasmine said to herself. Jasmine studied the wedding journal one more time, but there was no sign of her mother wearing a priceless jewel in any of them. She found her father in the throne room with the genie. Father, do you remember mother's treasure of all treasures from your wedding day? The sultan had never heard of it, but the genie jumped in to help. With a wave of his hand, the genie summoned a stunning lineup of diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. Step right up and choose your very own treasure of all treasures, he exclaimed. Jasmine looked at each beautiful jewelry, jewel, but somehow she knew none of them was a treasure she was seeking. Thank you for trying, Jeannie, she said. I think I will know it when I see it. Unsure of what to do next, Jasmine shared her troubles with Aladdin. He was determined to help. If the treasure is something in this palace, we will find it, he said. But in the palace, there were countless rooms filled with treasure. Jasmine and Aladdin combed through piles of gold in the east treasure room. They sorted through gems and jewels in the west treasure room. They searched through stacks of silver and platinum in the north treasure room. And they opened every gilded trunk in the south treasure room. But Jasmine did not see anything that she felt was a treasure of all treasures. I will keep searching, Aladdin assured her, and I will find it, I promise. On the day before her wedding, still without the treasure, Jasmine read her mother's letter once more. But the most wonderful part of her of my own wedding was that my treasure of all treasures. Where could it be? Jasmine wondered. As Jasmine looked up from the letter, her eyes fell on a sketch of her father, lovely, lovingly drawn by her mother. Suddenly, Jasmine understood. Of course, her father was her mother's treasure of all treasures. Just then, Aladdin entered. I'm so sorry, Jasmine, he said. The treasure, I haven't found it. Jasmine threw her arms around Aladdin. I have had my treasure all along, she told him. It's you, Aladdin. The next day at her wedding, Jasmine could barely contain her joy. Everything was perfect. Her dress, just like her mother's, was lovely, and the flowers and food were exquisite. But most importantly, Jasmine had Aladdin, her treasure of all treasures, right by her side.